If youth unemployment grows, it will generate unrest and even undermine the civic bond that holds us together. It is therefore fitting that SADEF has placed industrialization at the center of our strategies and plans. You can count on me and my country to work together with you in this important drive. We also know that we cannot attract sufficient investment for speed industrialization unless we pull our markets together. Removal of trade barriers in SADEC is therefore important. It is even more appropriate that we are now seeking to establish a free trade area across the whole of our continent. Excellencies, we must also take all necessary measures to ensure that our natural resources are put to good use for the benefits of our people and for future generations. Sometimes efforts to create a win-win situation in the use of natural resources may appear too drastic, or we must ensure that both the investors and our people, including our future generations, benefit from the exploitation of our natural resources. Our youth and future generations will condemn us if we fail or fail them in the manner that we manage our natural resources. Before I conclude, Mr. Chairperson, I'd like to congratulate you, your, uh, your Excellency President Nangabwa, the government and the people of the Republic of Zimbabwe for conducting harmonized election peacefully. We take note that observers have pronounced this election as free and fair. Further, we are aware of the ongoing court process and we remain confident that the will of the people of Zimbabwe will prevail. We also wish all we also wish all the best to the Kingdom of Eswatini, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and the Republic of Madagascar in their forthcoming elections. I wish to applaud our Executive Secretary and the staff of the Secretariat for their contribution in sustaining the work of service. It is my hope that they will continue the hard work and dedication that they have always demonstrated. Excellencies, I thank you for the honor and trust bestowed upon me and my country to become the Deputy Chair of SADC. I remain committed to working diligently with Namibia and all other member states in steering our community to meet the noble objective we have set for ourselves. I guarantee you, Chair, my full and dedicated support. Tanzania will continue to work with the framework of SADC, within the framework of SADC, to promote peace and security in our region and to promote economic prosperity to all our people. The great work of our founding fathers must always inspire us to continue to foster, to foster unity among ourselves through political solidarity and economic partnership. This summit is taking place at a time when the great people of Namibia are about to celebrate the Heroes Day on 26th August this year to commemorate the start of the armed struggle in 1966 and the sacrifices made in the quest for independence. His Excellency Hifike Kunye Kohamba, former President of the Republic of Namibia, once said the following words during the Heroes Day celebration in 2005, and I quote, we must ne never forget that during the long and bitter liberation struggle, many sons and daughters of Namibia sacrificed their lives and shed their previous blood, precious blood, in order to bring about Namibia's freedom, national independence, and better future for all our people. We owe it to the martyrs of our revolution to, main, to remain united and with commitment and fortitude create a strong, united, and democratic society for which they have paid with their lives and of course. Today, we are meeting here in Namibia, the land of heroes 
because of the gallant struggle and the sacrifice of the heroes of Namibia. As we enjoy the warm hospitality of the people of Namibia, let us offer our best wishes to His Excellency President Jengo and the people of Namibia. Excellencies, as I conclude, allow me, Comrade President Jengo and Chair of the Summit, to welcome you all, heads of state and government, to the 39th Summit in 2019 in Tanzania. The people of the United Republic of Tanzania are eagerly waiting to welcome you all. Karibuni sana. Excellencies, that's the statement of His Excellency Dr. John Kombe Malfuli, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and I thank you for your kind attention. Sanjay sana.